my god. They look so good. I can't believe it. <laughs> good morning. It is Friday the 12th of January. Oh, I'm, I'm not very good at remembering dates. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're two days away from the Northern Kentucky uh, Comic Con thing that I'm tabling at, which is really, really exciting because it's going to be my first sort of like Comic Con pop culture sort of event thing, which um, I think a lot of my work is definitely more geared towards so um yeah that's very exciting but what makes it even more exciting is i have new products and we have packages <laughs> so let's open these uh, i'm just gonna double check i'm recording yep i'm back scissors so <sighs> I opened this last actually because this is the one I'm most excited about so we'll just plonk him over there and we'll go with uh, this one because this has an older product of mine in um, that I've gotten reprinted because they've always been qu quite popular uh, so I'm gonna I decided to get reprinted for Valentine's Day coming up so let's have a look i got them uncoated um just to have a look i'm have a my gut is telling me i should have got it coated but we will see we will see let's have a look. Uh, uh, uh. these are from vista print by the way so come on and da -da 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 -da. oh cute so so these are like my little cat valentine's cards they say uh oh my god i can't remember <laughs> yeah you complete me <laughs> um i designed these 21 yeah 21 um and then you can stick up on my sporty thing yeah they look cute um so even though it's uncoated the color accuracy is actually so much better than the ones i've had before oh <laughs> you might have my husband sneeze then <laughs> uh but yeah super cute and i got like my new branding on as well so my logo my social medias and this qr code uh that takes you to my website i love, I love them yeah they're super cute <laughs> yay <laughs> so that's good um, as I said, they, those are the ones that uh, I had a, an idea of what to expect because where they're an older product. Right now, we have another Valentine's card to come in here and this is a new product. Um, and something I've teased on my social medias. Uh, as not quite this design, but the character. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's have a look. Snip. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, it's nice and thick. Oh, okay. Let me let me fold it first so you can see it. And, oh, this one's been a little damaged actually. Oh, well, it's always good to have one in stock for yourself. Oh, it's damaged and hasn't folded quite right. That's fine. Ready? Ba -ba -da -da -da. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that Valentine's card. You make me happy. And there's a little bit. Come on. It doesn't want to focus. Is there too much stuff going on? Oh well. It's got a Starian on it. And yeah, it's just like for the Boarded Skates fans. Um, I just thought it would be a really cute little Valentine's Day card thing. I just imagined this drawing of like one of the characters. I want to see how these go at the event. If they do well, I want to quickly get out um, and a couple other characters. So I definitely have a Shadow Heart one in mind. Um, and I have one for Will in mind as well. Uh, but I might dip my toes in to see what characters people want. Um, oh yeah. And, um, oh my gosh. Uh, how have I how have I blanked on the bestest girl's name? <laughs> oh my god, I can't remember her name. The the Tieflin, like who's like the best girl ever, and she's just like so terrible. <laughs> anyway, I got um Carlac. Here we go. Carl Jesus, I got a Carlac idea as well. I'm 
so sorry, Carl. Like you're, I said, like the best girl. But yeah, these are really cute. Um, I think they're quite a nice size, as well. And I think people, like, even though it's a Valentine's Day card, I think they could still be used after as well. It's just like love cards and stuff to send to your friends and that. And yeah. <laughs> so yeah, happy with that as well. I was like, oh gosh, sorry, that was loud. Um, I was a bit worried about the red, but um. Yeah, it looks good and it's picked up like the um, watercolour texture to make it look a bit more bloody. <laughs> so let's start. Okay, right. Now the big one. And this is like my only second time of doing this kind of product. Uh, I haven't made this kind of sticker in since 2020. Um, so this is a new one for me um i got this one from sticker mule so i have ordered from sticker mule before and had great success um the prices are good oh gosh sorry let me just do this and i'll tell you yeah their prices are good and they always like get stuff in as quick as possible so like i got I had to get priority on the vista print stuff but i don't think i had to get priority for this and the turnaround was really quick oh my god so this is also for a game that's been popular this year. Oh, and they gave me a freebie of one. Oh my god. Oh, I see why. Yeah, it's the freebie one. Oh. So I've done lethal company sticker sheets. Oh my god. They look so good. <laughs> Like the Bracken's a bit darker than what he actually is in the print. Like he's lost his purple and radish, uh, like puppy ready color. Cause when you look on the law thing, it says he's like the color of like a radish. Um, he's lost that a bit, but you know what? Like him just being completely surrounded in darkness is fine. Oh my God. They look so good. They're so cute. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, that's it. And like, just general like stick on your like freebies to see what their quality is like. Like the quality is really good. I've ordered some individual stickers from them before, like a couple years ago. Um, so this is the first time I got the stickers things. Oh my god, they look so good. I can't believe. It. <laughs> yeah, and then like the file setup was so easy as well. Oh my god. I love it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, and I'll um, pop back in probably, yeah, when we're doing setup and stuff. Might do a little video before the day, but we'll see. I've got so much work going on right now. Um, but we're nearly getting there. Nearly, nearly getting there on um, the current projects I've got going. And uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> see you later. Hello, uh, I'm just holding you for now because I have someone that I want you to meet. <laughs> this is Little Mittens. Your Mittens. Hello, baby. So, a little bit of a life update. Um, little Mittens will be staying with me in this art office um, because, well, we kind of rescued him in the sense of that his previous owner um, couldn't afford to look after him anymore so we took over um, he has a bunch of health problems and stuff including uh, FIV which is like feline aids basically um, so which that's why he's in the office and not out there because as some of you know I have two other cats who do not have FIV yeah, FIV. <laughs> um, so yeah, we have to keep him in here in the meantime whilst he gets fixed up. Um, it can only spread uh, with like fights and stuff. Um, like it has to be like deep bites apparently, but um, we're likely not going to keep him for that reason. Um, we we want to keep him, but as it stands, we think it's best for him, us, and our other cats that. He goes and um, 
goes to a home who can give him all the attention he wants or you know has cats who also have it but yeah that's what's going on there uh, so <laughs> um as you know i've been like kind of missing in action uh because of um uh some projects i've been working on i'm so so busy and that mixed with a bunch of holidays like i never even got around to posting like the thanksgiving things some autumn more autumn stuff uh christmas well i did one christmas update but um you know it's just i didn't get to do as much as i wanted to and it's now the 27th of february and i'm finally like shooting new content for you all uh, to see but this being said, I've also been super busy with brand new stock. So uh, earlier this year, I had my first little Comic Con. It was a little local one. Uh, it was great fun, uh, big success as well. So I made profit and stuff, met a bunch of people um, who love my work and just other really cool artists. So I'm now going to four other conventions this year. And unlike the first one, this one is well, that watch Lewis, <laughs> sorry. Um, the, uh, oh, I'm sorry if you can hear outside. I got the window wide open. It's boiling hot in here. Um, what else was I saying? Oh yeah, unlike the first one. So the first one I went to earlier this year, um, that was only uh, one day, so it was on a Sunday. Uh, these other four that I'm now taking part in are full weekend conventions. And so I'm just like, crap. <laughs> I definitely don't have um, nowhere near enough stock and stuff so um, I've been really really busy uh, making new stuff and I'm gonna show you uh, some of the goodies I have like baked oh I'm so excited <laughs> So this is what I've been working on over the weekend. I had this idea of retro uh, consoles, specifically ones from my childhood and meant a lot. Um, and I'm making them into like cute little glitter stickers. So this is my favorite one. This is the Game Boy Color. I had the green one I, and I think a lot of people did to be honest. <laughs> Um, I decided to add a little uh, Pokemon Silver Easter egg, so just doing like the little basics, like opening screen of it. I oh, I remember it so clearly. So yeah, this is the Game Boy Color. I have the GameCube, and this is actually the one that started it all. It's so cute and so purple. I love the GameCube so much, and I love the shape of it. How it's like this perfect little square. So so cute. The classic PlayStation One. How I just how could I have not have like put this in the PlayStation One? Even though the Sega Mega Drive was actually my first ever console, I think that might be too old. But um, <laughs> let me know if people want a Sega Mega Drive included in this collection. I could add it. Um, but for now, I have the PlayStation One, which was the second console I ever owned. I spent so much time on this as a kid. It's oh, I love you, baby. Changed my life the PlayStation 2 so I was kind of torn on should I do the like original PlayStation 2 the big chunky black thing or should I go for something a bit more a bit more iconic uh, which is what I decided to go to so this was the pink PlayStation Slim I never had it but I knew a few people who did have it and it was more like this really vivid uh bright pink but um as you guys know, I love pastel colours and I still wanted it all to look like my style and stuff that I would draw, hence like these like stars that I've done to make it all cute and like shiny and stuff, yeah, <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> so yeah, got the PlayStation 2 Mini and finally the original Xbox, I know, wow, just green. <laughs> I was really worried about this one because um, this is more of a request from my sister um, who by the way is on YouTube so check her out here. She does amazing uh, video game essay videos so if you're into video games uh, definitely go check her out. 
horror in particular. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is a uh, request by her. There was this um, special edition Xbox, and I do remember this. It was see through, um, so you could see all the inside of it, and like when you turned it on, you could see all the lights and stuff. So I was a bit like, oh, how can I capture that with this? But I feel like I've done it, and again, it still looks like my style, and still looks really cute, and it's this thing just pops and. Yeah, I'm so proud of them. I think they're so, so cute. Um, to give you an idea of what I want them to look like. Nanya. So they're going to have this mirror uh, glitter outline. Kind of like my, um, well actually I say kind of exactly like my um, Ghoulie sticker and my Keep It Together sticker. Um, I think they're going to look so, so cute. They're going to be 2.5 inches. So slightly smaller than what I would usually get printed. Um, but I do sometimes find that the three inches can be a bit too big and I really imagine these being quite small. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I want people to be able to stick them on their books and stuff or wherever and not take too much room. And yeah, I just think they're so cute. I'm so happy with them. So this is one of the, uh, this is just like one of five. What? One of five? Uh, <laughs> there's, I'm getting a lot of stuff printed. So there's five of these and this is just one of them. Um, as some of you know, uh, when I did this drawing in this video here, I talked about like maybe getting her done as a little sticker. Um, so I had to take up some space uh, to get uh, some vinyl stickers done because I was get I'm getting my cat re stickers. <laughs> cat re stickers. Oh, can't speak. Still can't speak, guys. <laughs> um, so I'm getting my uh, cat drawings, which are the stickers. Um, reprinted as we're low on some of them and they're really popular and they just work no matter what uh convention i go to um and i had like uh three more spaces to fill up in terms of uh to get things printed so i decided to get poppy uh on this order and i did like the outline of the uh watercolor we go in uh sort of the texture and the wash i think it's super super cute i'm so excited to see her she will be a three inch sticker um, and so now let's go to the website, which is here. So this is Vogue Race. Bing! Here we go. <laughs> um, I'm sure some of you have heard of this website. Um, I really enjoy the amount of products they offer, which is like pretty cool. Um, it is all, it all does come from China. So there is that whole, like, it's not eco-friendly in that sense. Um, so if anyone does know anywhere, local in the US that is, um, that does have this much to offer in terms of products let me know that'd be awesome if not um i'm probably going to stick with them because they are really reliable cheap and the stuff they get printed does look everything i've got from them i've always been super super happy with um so yeah so same i have these cat stickers i decided to get the astarian valentine's uh, day card design i did interest sticker so it's just astarian with these like little wine and the um Oh gosh, what's it called? A Lethal Company uh, sticker sheet. Um, one of them is the Great Great Asset with the cheeky little bomb. Um, <laughs> so um, I'm just getting him printed because I think people will like uh, that. And again, these are the cats or oh, the kitty cats all being done on vinyl. Uh, the glitter stickers that I just showed you. So these are the console ones. This is going to be a double sided a uh, boo key ring so actually let me go and open i'm just going to show you them while i was going to wait but you know what we're here so let's uh get them up ba, 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 ba. Uh, mario goods so so this is side uh what a a or one whatever you want to call it <laughs> and this is oh come on side b look how cute they are so basically uh uh what the first convention i'm going to which is in uh early april which is this one here i can't remember the names on top of my head i think it's called super Cincy expo um they have a, a couple of voice actors from the mario franchise there so the voice actress of peach and toad and the voice actor of bowser is going there so i'm offering some mario goods and this is going to be a double-sided wooden key ring it's gonna be my first key ring so i'm super excited i'm a big big fan of booze i think they're so cute so cheeky <laughs> 
um, and just oh and they're all shy and just like oh you're looking at me <laughs> um, I decided to go for like this purple and green vibe in homage to Luigi's Mansion because Luigi's Mansion 1 was one of my favourite GameCube games going back to obviously this baby boy here <laughs> so I have uh, those sorry again if you can hear the traffic um, so I've got the window wide open and then the other Mario goodies I got is this Daisy uh, stained glass mirror, which is based on, oh my God, I can't think. <laughs> um, which is then based on the peach stained glass mirror from uh, Mario, uh, Super Mario 64. Um, so I'm getting those done and they're not just gonna be printed like any old sticker. So Vogue Grace has, where do I go back here? They have uh, these, uh, let me just click on them. Uh, like see-through. Uh, custom clear there you go like clear stickers and for that to make sense uh, you can't really see from here I kind of here so you can see how it's being peeled here so they're gonna be see-through like this so my sort of plan is when you stick them on a window um, you should hopefully get that cool stained glass effect and all the colors coming through I'm quite excited by them um, I don't know how they're gonna go down um, but everyone always likes Mario stuff, so, you know, I'm not really expecting them to sell out at the conventions, but you never know, but, um, if they don't, uh, I suspect they will sell eventually, so I'm super, super excited for them. And then the last thing I'm getting printed, which, if you follow my social media, would have seen me going on and on and on about, are these heart uh buttons slash badges of these thinking about au's <laughs> i'm so excited about these guys so anyone who is into like super fandom culture like me so you don't just have like a normal relationships with a, <laughs> with a franchise <laughs> you think about all the au's that the characters can be in like for example going back to the astarian thing um, I've seen a lot of cowboy Starian and a lot of rock band Starian. I, I love stuff like that and I get really deep into it because it just, for me, it's like the fan art side. So it's like, oh, you don't have to just draw these characters in their um, canon setting. You can draw them in these other settings. So you get all these AUs and a lot of fan fictions are all AUs as well because obviously that's what they are. They're fan fiction, the stuff that don't happen. So it's an alternative universe. Uh, so yeah, I'm getting... 50 of those printed so that's 10 of each of these designs which by the way they are available right now so i'm not expecting this stuff to arrive until late march um i've worked out it would definitely be before early april um so yeah uh but I've got these pre-order open now because I think, I don't know, they're just ready to go and I just love them so much and I couldn't help it. I was like, yeah, I must get these out in the world now. Um, so yeah, that's what's going there. We are gonna go check it out in a sec and so I will film my actual face reaction going on there. Right, so <laughs> we're going to do the order from Vogue Race now. I'm so, so excited. <laughs> I've been working on these uh, new products for about a week. Yeah, that, yeah, that feels right. About a week. Um, just like pushing them out there. Um, I'm, I was just thinking that. Yeah, definitely a week. So um, I'm actually really proud of myself of like how much I got done. Um, so yeah, this is a big deal. Um, and it's going to be a, like just, yeah, my first test for at the... Um, uh, convention, so let's go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's having to think about it. Okay, let's see what we got. Yep, that's right. Continue to ship in. We're gonna go for standard, so that gets me to 8 to 16 days. So, actually, let me double check that because I actually am sending this a day one day later than what I wanted um because um some new project work came up <laughs> um I'll discuss that uh probably in like the next video or something <laughs> um so yeah economy is 10 to 20 days and standard is 8 to 16 days so you know like up to four days uh, quicker is quite different so if I send it as one two three free and I'm not going to count the weekends I think the weekends is safe but 
just to be safe i don't count them and i only count the work days um because yeah, it's just better to be safe and sorry and also that kind of gives me a um at latest it should be okay so yeah one two okay yeah so that would give me to the end of march which is super um so that'll definitely arrive on time and let me just double check when the uh expo is yep super Cincy expo and that is on yeah the 5th and 7th so that does give me enough time to get like just other stock in if i don't think um i have enough obviously it won't be from very grace if i do that but um yeah it gives me like enough like safe time just in case there is um a delay as well so let's go to payment oh my god <laughs> Ba ba ba. Yep, yep, yep. Pay now. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's processing. Done. So yeah, I got a bunch of new stuff. And honestly, for $268.29. I don't think that's bad going. There's like well over a hundred. That's my confirmation email for the order. Um, but yeah, I was saying like I don't think that's bad going for well over a hundred new items at all. It's so exciting. So yeah, I'm probably gonna leave it there. A little bit of a shorter video. I hope. I always say this, but then I end up getting loads of clips together, and. Um, <laughs> well and then it ends up turning into like 40 minutes but hey this is hopefully around the 25 minute mark <laughs> um if you enjoyed this content please subscribe um i'm back on it i'm hoping to be updating you all every week again now um if not every two weeks at the most but i'm definitely back and you'll definitely be hearing more from me um if you want to support me i have a ko-fi um where i have some tears and i really want to get into that and like giving back to any of my fans so yeah if you join us you'll see um all the sort of gifts uh that i offer and stuff um and yeah that's it basically i'll see you in the next video Bye bye.